Hi, I'm Norshak Fauzi. I've been living in Luna for over five years. I chose to be here because beach towns remind me of my childhood and the years I used to do beach cleanups with my parents. Uh, it's lovely to live in a town with a proper community, an ecosystem that is built with every single person inside with real impact. Uh, as they say, it takes a village to raise a child, it also takes a village to keep a place clean, environmental and sustainable. Today we're going to dive into diverse voices of the Guna community and learn more about sustainable practices around town. We do what we can, Yanni. We take the best, uh, the, the lesser of all evils and we really reuse as much as possible like all our furniture everything is so old and reused we don't buy new things of course plates and stuff like that and of course Irtaqa helps a lot the waste management of Ilguna they are great support without them we wouldn't be able to to do all of the stuff that we do so Earth Day is uh, April 22nd and all the dive centers a long time ago had started by doing underwater cleanups and beach cleanups and island cleanups. And it's an event you can register online with uh, earthday.org. It was only a one day thing. So we decided here that we wanted to expand it into more activities. Um, so we get these people back together and everybody has their own initiative. All we do is put a schedule and we try and get it working. And it has to cover all of Guna from Bustan to the marina, the kite stations. But uh, sharing it all in a week gets a whole town involved. Uh, I think that's, that's what the community is. Our hotel are contributing to the sustainability approach by uh, doing several actions. Uh, we are monitoring the consumption of uh, the fresh water, irrigation water, electricity, and also fuel through uh, monthly reports, for example. When it comes to water, we have uh, in all our rooms uh, water-saving devices, uh, as well in our public areas, public toilets, and uh, we care very much about the waste separation. Um, when it comes to energy also, uh, as you know, we use bulbs everywhere, but 60% of our bulbs are LED uh, all over the hotels and uh, we try to reduce as much as we can by uh, 50 percent uh, our electricity consumption at night specifically the garden illumination is, is reduced totally i mean during the certain hours in the night Ilguna is the home for mangroves i've never seen so many mangroves together in one area and I'm always fascinated and inspired by the resilience of this plant, the ability to grow in salty water. I met engineer Gabi a few years ago and he told me more about their importance in the ecosystem for fish and for migrating birds. This year, he led the initiative of planting 2,000 mangroves in Guna in collaboration with El Guna and under the supervision of the Ministry of Environment. I chose the Elguna because uh, mainly for the Red Sea, which is a, a big treasure for the world. And uh, all the reasons are also because to live here, it's uh, really nice. It's very comfortable also for myself to move. I love to bicycle. Ten years ago, I founded a, a non-profit organization called Dolphin Watch Alliance to support um, the project I also founded here with some colleagues called Care for Dolphins. It's an awareness educational program for the public, for the community, for tourists. And also we did a lot of workshops um, about um, the code of conduct, guidelines, to actually approach dolphin in a responsible and sustainable way. I'm very happy to learn more about all the activities happening around town. Being the flagship of the Green Star Hotel program, caring for dolphins, having Earth Day properly, doing events all around town about it, and planting 2,000 mangroves. It really gives me a lot of pride being part of this community. <laughs>